So hello and good Monday. My name is Ruth Pasuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you six things that you should always do in Power Query. Let's do it. So tip number one, you should always have the formula bar visible for two reasons. Number one, it will actually allow you to see the M code that is being written and, you know, getting familiarized with it. Number two, it will allow you to access the code quickly instead in case that you want to do something fast. So you don't have to go to the advanced editor and, you know, it takes a longer time. So you can just actually see what is being written. It's a perfect way to learn Power Query. That's definitely the way I did. Tip number two. So there is in the same place where you um, show the formula bar, you have something called query dependencies. If you just got a Power Query model that you didn't do, or you have a huge Power Query model, this is a great tip for seeing how this model was created. You can see the relationships between all the tables, all the functions, all the parameters that you have in that Power Query file. Lifesaver. So if you're working with a little bit more complex models or you just got a Power Query file that you haven't worked with before, you're set. Tip number three. This is a lifesaver. Again, if you have big files because you know that you have this column somewhere, but you don't know exactly where in the table it is, especially if you have like long tables, you shouldn't have them. But if you do, this is the perfect way to find your columns quickly. You just go and click find columns and it will take you to it very, very quickly. Lifesaver. And now that we're talking about doing things faster, how about copying queries? This is the tip number four. So you have the possibility to copy queries that you already have. So let's say that you're connected to an SQL database and connected to a specific table, and now you want to connect to another table. What you can actually do is copy the query and just connect to that table instead of doing the entire get data, finding the SQL, giving the credentials. So just copy it and you're good to go. Now for tip number five, this is about keeping your model clean. You have the possibility to organize all your tables in maps, in folders. So I really recommend you to do that if you have a lot of tables. So you can, for example, have a folder for your parameters. You could have a folder for your functions and then for, for your queries. Or you could have like API queries or external queries, internal queries. There are a lot of ways you can do it. But I really recommend you do it because it's a very good way to document your Power Query file. And while we're talking about document, it takes me to my number six tip, which is how to document your steps. Make sure you document it. You never know, even if you say this file is only for me, you never know where Power BI files end up and who will need them. So you might share the Power BI files with somebody else and they will be able to see exactly what you do. But also it could be that you did something a while ago and now you want to check it out again. And then you will see exactly what you've done and why you did it. If you are getting a file from somebody else, you will see what they did and why they did it. So it will make your life easier. So those are my six tips for a Power Query. Do you have a tip? Let me know in the comment box. I would love to know. And uh, I'll see you again on Wednesday. Take care. Bye.